G'day guys, welcome to my RxYS V2 video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Hyundai A Leaf for week 16's predictions for 2020 guys, so let's get started. So the first match of this team is the Wellington Phoenix going up against the Newcastle Jets. What I can say about this team, I just think how the way they're going to score and how the way they're going to defend. It's a matter of actually putting your defense into an actual good attack. I really think that this game, hopefully it'll be a great game. Mind to Phoenix will be a very good team to actually perform very well, but you have to get your structure and your promotions right. But really for a fact is, I like how the way Mind to Phoenix is. They are a very interesting team. And what I like about them, they are a very good team to actually watch and play for. But really what I can say about this team is, they are a very well affected team that just can play any game type of football and I just like how the way they do. Really for a fact is, I like how the way Wellington Phoenix can actually score a goal, but then actually score another goal and then actually work very hard. Because it's a matter of taking your time and actually working on your timing anyway and your skills. But really for a fact is Newcastle Jets are not playing very well. As I mentioned in that recap preview what I did before, go check it out. Um, it is on YouTube. It's RXY's V2 on my um, YouTube channel anyway. But for Newcastle Jets anyway, they haven't been very assistant, cooperative and know what to do because for a fact is if you want to actually perform very well you've got to have that structure right but for Newcastle Jets they haven't been winning any games they haven't been performing any games and really what I can say about this game I just think Wellington Phoenix will get this one and I'm going to go with 2-0 so I'm going to go with the Wellington Phoenix 2-0 anyway and hopefully they get to win up against the Newcastle Jets anyway the next game of this round is the Melbourne victory going up against the Sydney FC. Now, really what I can say about this team is Melbourne victory are a very good team. Sometimes they perform very well, but then they lose a couple of matches, which is horrific and horrifying. But when you get this type of matches going into another included match, sometimes Melbourne victory can be very off topic. But then what you need is basically structure and formation of how the way you want to play your footy anyway but it's just a matter of time of how the way the correct timing is to play the ball and how the way the correct passing is but also what i can say about this team is i like how the way they are they are a very good team to watch i very like this team and they are a very good team i like how the way they perform very well i like how the way their structure is and how the way it is it's just a matter of time how the way Melbourne Victory can be very good, but also you've got Melbourne City and also different clubs. But also what I can say about this club, I just think how the way Melbourne Victory have brought into their attention, it's just how the way it's gotten to themselves, but they are a very good team. But let's move on to the Sydney FC. Now, this club has been performing very well. They're on the very top of the ladder. They're a very like performance team and I like how the way they are. It's just a matter of time how the way this team is brought to my attention and how the way it is. But for instance, when you get this team into an actual good emotion, it's actually very good team they are. But for instance now, I'm gonna go with the Sydney FC and I'm gonna go with 3-1 for this one. I just think, I just think Sydney FC will bring this game to an actual standstill and I reckon they'll bring their talent and their entertainment to a different away game anyway and I reckon they'll win 3-1 anyway. The next game of this round we see the Central Coast Mariners going up against the Brisbane Roar. Now really about this club and this team it just brings to my attention that I like how the way Brisbane Roar have been actually doing but then it's just a matter of time and skill and it's actually brought to my attention out of the way Brisbane Roar are but sometimes for this club they can be very off and then they 
have sloppy moments and then can be very hard on it. But I'm not too sure about this team. I think out of the way, though, it just brings to my attention. I like this club and this club has been very good lately and it's just a matter of time if they're going to win or lose. But this game is going to be a hard one, but I just think how the way this club will go, it will be definitely a very good team. But just how the way it's going to go, I'm going to go um, for the Central Coast Mariners on this one, but let's think about it. Central Coast Mariners are a very good team. Sometimes they can lose, but they have lost, um, I think, up against Western Sydney Wanderers anyway. I'm not too sure, oh wait no, actually Western United, sorry, Western United, so they have lost up against Western United anyway, 3-0. That was a shocking uh, moment anyway, but I'm just going to go with the Central Coast Mariners anyway, and I reckon they'll win, and I'm going to go with 3, I'm just going to go with 3-0 anyway, and I just think how the way they brought, they'll bring to this team, and to this game, it'll bring a very good entertainment of football, and I just think 3-0 is the best chance they'll actually get to this game and bring this home win to an actual standstill anyway. The next game of this round is here the Melbourne City going up against the Perth Glory. What I can say about this team is I just think it's going to be a really good standstill, it's going to be a great defence and I just think this club is going to be very cool and how the way it's going to branch out for this new types of teams but for melbourne city though i just don't think how the way this club is going to be very cooperative but they have won a couple of games they have lost a couple of games but it's just a matter of time how the way it's going to be branching out and then sometimes they're going to struggle a little bit but not for this club, I just don't think how the way it's going to go, but they are a very good team. I like how the way they perform very well. Jamie McLaren is my favourite player that he scores goals and he performs very well. But moving on to the Perth Glory side, I just think how the way they're going to go is absolutely very cool. It's very nice how the way they play very well. Sometimes they lose, sometimes they win. But it's just how the way it's going to bring to that formation and actually uh, produce one of the most good footballs of the game anyway. But that's actually a very good standstill. I just think how the way it's going to go, I'm going to go with Perth Glory and I'm going to go with 1-0 on this one. Simple but easy. I just think how the way it's going to go, it's definitely a very good chance that Perth Glory are going to win this 1-0. I really think that Perth Glory are going to win this because they just need a win up against this very hard team to beat. But I just don't think how the way it's going to go, it's very hard. But I might not be right, I might not be wrong. But I just think how the way it's going to go, I'm going to go with 1-0 for the Perth Glory side anyway. And last but certainly not least, Western United going up against the Adelaide United. Really what I can say about this team is Western United are a very good team, but they have won up against the Central Coast Mariners, but they lost up against the Central Coast Mariners up my end, but then up the south end where Western United um, played their home match up against the Central Coast Mariners. Mariners lost and Western United won anyway. But really what I can say about this match, I just think out of the way, Adelaide United are going to be very cool out of the way. It's going to be very branched out for this club. Sometimes, though, they can be very hard onto their attack, but it makes it very difficult out of the way they play and then they lose a match. But it's just a matter of time how the way they're going to time their running meters and how the way it's going to go. It's just going to be very, like, top notch. But Adelaide United though, well, actually move on to the Western United. So Western United are a very good club. I like Callaway, this is very like amazing at Callaway it is. But 
For instance though, I just like how the way they branched out a couple of times and it's a very amazing thing to do. But as what well you can see, I'm gonna go with LA United side and I'm gonna go with 4-1 on this one. Uh, just think how the way they're gonna go. I reckon they'll smash the Western United side anyway. But they are a very hard team to beat and I just think they'll have that confidence to actually beat the Western United side anyway. But really, what I can say about this club, I just think how the way it's gonna go, it's definitely one of the amazing things to actually do. But it's a matter of time. But I'm going to go with the LA United side and I'm going to go with 4-1 anyway. But I just think they'll win up against the West United side anyway. Thanks guys for watching my video guys. Stay tuned for more. I will be doing a couple of videos coming to you guys soon. Also I'll be doing more videos coming to you guys soon. So stay tuned for more. Please like and subscribe to my video and to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, take care guys. Stay safe and have a good one.